So, yes, guys, uh, most of you, I know you have uh, seen this video. Kamboi, you circulate sana kwa siku mbili, tatu, sayi. Kungyo na mshawa na nae video. Na kiukweli, it's not uh, something that we, people should keep quiet seeing it happening at the moment. Kwa sabu, ime kuando kilio cha kila mtu, kilio cha familia, kilio cha wahudumu, kilio cha wafanya jikazi pia. Uh, have one word to speak about this thing. So we mendelea na wakasai hakuna mtu ambaya shasimama kwa serekali kwa muona ameka shifu na uzito suwala kama hili. Suwala limiachua, seme gini polisi wa miachiwa. Na they have really done their part kwa sabu identifying someone ambaya na safiri umtue kutoka airport, umlete pata kukastod, umshike. That's a big work by well, congratulations to that uh, Kenya police ambaya mefanya hiyo kazi. We do congratulate you guys. Mwango mwenye mnafanya ujinga, lakini hapo, hapo mmecheza kinyenye kapisa, hapo we do congratulate you guys. So, let's talk about these people ambao wamekua captured ama wameshiku kwa sabu either ni suspect ama ni watu ambao wana walifanya cho kitendo. Kwa sabu kasama hivyo. Kwa sabu Kenya nile ambao tunayijua sa hii, wanafambia utakuwa suspect paka ile time ambayo utakuwa found guilty. Wanyo wanasema hivyo. Hata ukionekana umeuwa life kabisa hivi, bado atakuita suspect, atakuita weni mada. Lakini kuna watu wengine mwana ito terrorist, afikini mwajua, wansu kifanya kitu kidogo tu hivi, they be called terrorist. Either kwa kumefanyika mchunguzi ama bado, still wata ito terrorist. So guys, I've decided to come here to tell you something that hawa watu wabu wame kwa suspected, kuna vitu moja bada mbili, wabu mwafanya hawa kwa suspected na kisa kama ichi. Na nimekuja ili niweleze jinsi gani tutepuka na na huu ukora. Kwa sabu huu ni ukora na most of you guys that are tukija tukiwambia as content creators tukija kwa media tukiwambia kwamba don't try ama don't believe anyone you see on media kuseme muna anza relationship. Don't ever abisa. Because I know very much what that type. Kuna wale watu ambu wako kwenye media na tafta pesa kwa njia yote ile. Yani huko pale kwenye media, either ni Facebook, TikTok, kwa kote kula mbako huko, Messenger huko. Huko pale tu ili upate mwana ume ama upate mwana mke mwenye hela ili utoboe kimaisha. Kwa sabu ume haso, ya kutosha, umechokana na maisha. Of course, yes, tuajua risky popote kabisa na atwezi tukajua mwenye sunga mwe kwa ajali ya nja hako ni ipi. Lakini kwa sasa ama kwa vile vitendo ama kwa vile vitu kumbu vimetokea paka sahi kwenye kupitia watu ambu wame kutana kwenye media ni dahiri shahiri ya kwamba sa hii tofatu wa channelizo story kabisa za media we supposed to abolish kabisa tuseme ya tutakitenda yu story kabisa za media kwa tisasa watu wangapa mba tasikia mtu kisema hivu unanekana kama unonja it's like unapigia unapigia mbuzi gita tu no one is going to listen to you kwa sabu watu wanafikiria ah wewe usha ukata labda ndo watu ambia sisi misi na atashimia chai sa hii Mbata jamaa vizuri mwona na drive, mwona na safiri na mandege sa yote. Tawa wame kwa kuchu kwa Facebook, kuna jona that's the best person kwa hivyo kwa na hivyo. Fine, but sasa usha angalia madhara hake. Nika sema wacha nende niangaliyo Airbnb to was a four bedroom. Kwa alafu the deal was too good. Ladies walikuwa nalipo 165,000, 165,000. Na hiyo ni just a night. And then kesho yake pia walipo hivyo. And then kwenye walikuja from far watalipo. Because niliwambiata wengine wadanganya wametoka mbali. Bado wapewe fair. And then you get to shop. You understand? Izi vitu zenye na wambia when the deal is too good. Amsisa hawa wakuna stima. Kumezimwa and everything. So tumekwa kwa room moja. This guy said let's sit in a kune kwa ngana hizi rooms za juku upstairs. And then zinetangu aje TV room or something. Atuko sasa downstairs, tuko sasa kwa rooms juu, but apo there is a sitting room. So, they said because there is no electricity and uh, we are not going to use the phones and stuff, let's stay here kwa room moja. Mind you, we can't see what is happening at that point. And then everywhere is kuna giza. So we sit and we are like everyone here, wana kuita paka jina yako, ni kama venye teacher na waitaga shule. Present, present, present. Waka utuliza, could, if, is anyone wearing a bra or pant? Yani sasa unona, yeah, tulikuwa, asha, asha nita get maji. Tulikuwa kwa hiyo TV room. Let me even talk in a slow-mo, baby nita kuwa sawa. So to after TV room, tuka kwa, tuka gada hiyo hapo wate, but mtu moja ndi alikuwa na miss, which ni mkubwa wawo. 
the guys knew what the guy was doing but sisi to do it so tuko hapo kwa family room to to make a tour sasa hatuna simu hakuna conversation sorry hakuna conversation and then someone goes hata tujui nani anaongea at that point so one goes like is anyone wearing a, a, a bra a, pa, a bra and pant kuna mwenye ameva bra and pant and then they were not talking in they they are not they are not Kenyans so they are not Tanzanians ni ma West Africans but they have lived their let's say half life maju mimi nikauliza but why no one gave me an answer and as kujua ndani anaongea that aside tukaka tukaka and this guy started saying if anyone can guess what's the time atakuwa wa kwanza kuingia kwa room fulani like what a joke someone has to guess what's the time at that time ndo aingie kwa room because kumbe sisi now if this is something i get to understand but die when you is if it's now working it has time they just don't wake up and do it at a certain time iko na wakati wanafanya na kama umefuatilia sana you people that go to do ngono with and you suspect someone there's a certain time anakwambia let's do it now so to make let me tell you guys to lika tukaka hakuna mtu anaongelesha mwingine the men are just there seated so kwa hiyo sofa seat ilikuwa ya round so guys huyu ni msichana mwingine pia ambaye aliponea chukuchupu tutasema hivyo huyu ni msichana ambaye aliponea chukuchupu na kwa sababu aliposikia hii historia ya Roy Sambu yeye pia ikabidi asimame kidete na yeye pia aongelee huko rambo nafanyika kwa kweli kabisa kulingana na story ama kulingana na vile yeye aliona kule story yake kwa sababu video yake aliitoa ni ndefu sana lakini ukimsikiza vizuri the reality ni kwamba wanafanya vile vitu kwa sababu ya uchawi wao. You can imagine mtu unakatwa katwa pisi ya mguu kando, pisi ya kichwa kando, pisi ya mkono kando, pisi ya mwili kando. So huyo mtu hata alikuwa hata kimapenzi na na kama alikuwa hata kimapenzi na labda alikutumia na ile ni kwa sababu alielekezwa aidha na mganga ama uchawi wake wale watu wako mzio spirit zao ambao wako nazo. Alielekezwa akaambwa kwamba tafuta msichana wewe kwa hivi na hivi ama tafuta msichana kutoka nchi fulani ukishampata huyu msichana wewe utatajirika ama wewe utapata hivi na hivi so kuna faida ambayo anaipata kulenga na ama kutokana na kupata viungo vya mwili ambavyo labda amechukua kwako ama kwa yule ambaye amechukua sasa mwisho wa siku guys unapoteza maisha yako unaacha familia yako inahangaika labda na watoto eh labda familia yako imekutegemea wewe kwa sababu ya kwamba umedanganyika pesa kidogo ambao umeahidiwa ya kwa kwa huyu msichana kwa kama tuambia kwamba alikuwa ameahidiwa 300,000 Kenya shillings within two days. Ende toka fanya mapenzi na wale pale vile kwa giza ni na nini. Pia kijinga kijinga ma, vitu vya kichawi chawi vile vile kabisa. Vya kuzengua vya kufanya vya na mahali ambapo kaja kujutie baadaye. Na kujutia afadhali uwe hai ujutie basi. Lakini waje uliwa maisha yako kuisha kama kuna watu wanakutegemea nyuma kama Lisa